bonus mission one. Hey, what happened to the guy? There's usually a guy sitting in this chair. I have no idea what happened there. Um, we're not going to be doing the bonus missions. Those were actually added with the CD version of the game. Uh, we, we want the X-Wings ones. So X-Wing mission one, Dave Sidestep. In this mission, you will learn to adjust your power configuration system, target the enemy, and destroy unarmed Imperial TIE fighters and stationary cargo ships. Sounds like a blast. Let's get started. Red one will drop into an Imperial training area in the Senex system. A variety of Imperial craft are in the area. Target the fighters first. Use your forward and rear sensors to quickly locate your enemy. Use your combat multi-view display and targeting system to track the enemy. Vary your speed and configure your power system for highest impact. Red one will drop into an Imperial All right. training area in the Senex. I system. can do that. Using the same holographic technology as in the pilot's proving ground courses, the historical combat simulations were designed to quickly and efficiently train new starfighter pilot recruits in actual combat tactics. They are also used by experienced pilots to hone their skills and develop new tactics. Um, one incredible story of what happened during, or during, <laughs> sorry, of what happened to a young recruit named Dave during his first run through the maze, which was the um, proving ground course. Though it was Dave's first time on the course, he impressively cleared the first six gates with ease, but then something unexpected happened. As Dave banked his X-Wing toward the next platform, he accidentally em jumped into hyperspace, emerging in the middle of an Imperial training ground. Thinking it was part of the course, Dave started firing at the stationary Imperial Star Fighters. Concentrating completely on destroying the Empire's hardware, it was some time before he noticed the message from his R2 unit indicating that he was in Imperial territory and should immediately hyperspace back to the Rebel Proving Ground. Shocked and somewhat shaken, Dave managed to return safely home. Your mission is to destroy all of the Imperial craft in the area within 15 minutes. Oops. And this is the first time you can see the pilot assignment. If we had wingmen, we'd be able to actually assign them to other players that are part of the game. However, if those wingmen die, <laughs> they die in the roster as well, which I'm sure was super frustrating to, I don't know, siblings. Oh, that's not what I wanted. And the nice thing here is now we can check out the pilot log without any issues as well as our medals. So as we earn medals, we can, we can check it out. But it's time to enter the mission and get started on our first combat mission. Alright, hopefully this will be an easy mission. Actually, I'm going to start off by uh, checking out my map, so I'll hit the M key. And here on the map, I'm able to see all of the craft that are currently in the area. And uh, actually, the sequels added, or maybe it was just TIE Fighter, that had a 3D map, which was pretty cool. Uh, a little harder to navigate than this. So I can either just click them like this, or... I am able to, if you look here, spacecraft, go through the spacecraft. Looks like I got a couple of TIE Fighters up close and then far, far away, six kilometers away, I've got TIE Fighters Gamma, one, two, and three. And then Delta, even further away, uh, a couple of transports. They are unknown. I have to get closer to identify them. Oh, three transports. Maybe if I zoom in a little closer, get a better, get a better look. And uh, if I hold down the right mouse button, I'm able to to drag. Continuing, um, there's an unknown container we can inspect, a freighter up close, and then some bombers way far away, bomber Theta. But it looks like a little closer. We got a couple of Etas and a couple of other Thai bombers, Iota and Zeta. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's the map. Um, I can always also check my briefing in case I forget my objectives. You can hit the B key, or if you're already at the map, you could just hit the arrow to the right, and I'll find the in-flight briefing, and this is something we've already seen. And, um... After that... So I've already read that, no reason to read it again. If I take damage in battle, physical damage, I sometimes lose power to certain systems, and here I can choose 
what order to repair them in, as well as how long it's going to take. So, losing your flight control system, this is the most dangerous. Because you stop being able to move. Actually, no, the most dangerous is engine power, and after that, flight control. So, engine power, you stop. And uh, flight control, you can't navigate. <laughs> so, if either of those go in battle, you're probably dead. And I can always access this as well, using, I, I believe, the D key. Um... So, map, briefing, damage control, all available at once. So, let's get started with the TIE Fighters. I'm going to link my cannons. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to go slower. Hit the R key to see my nearest target. And I'm going to increase my rate of fire. And one thing that I can do... You know, I, I don't need it for this. After the freighter, I'll, I'll talk about what, what I can do. So I got close to the freighter. Take a couple pot shots. At said freighter. Actually, the most dangerous part of this mission, I think, is probably going to be avoiding crashing into things. There we go. So the freighter Uru. I'm going to get some distance between me and the freighter. And I can actually look at my back window. There we go. Check it out. And I can look all the way around. Look up, over, and then, anyway, straight ahead. Apparently, at one point in development, there was actually battle damage that showed up on your craft as well. Uh, but they got rid of that. I think in the ending cutscenes, if you are damaged, it, it does show up in the, the mission finishing cutscenes, but that's about it. Would have been cool. Oops, too much, too much. So I can transfer to and from my shields. Actually, this is taking too long, so I'm gonna pull out a couple proton torpedoes. Boom. Bit overkill, but... Uh, whatever. So I can always hit the R key to see who's near me, and it looks like my... Or the TIE Interceptors are closest. And I can switch my targeting computer if I hit the I button. It looks more like... In the uh, original Star Wars movies. Where you have a little moving reticle. I'm able to hit it. These guys are going so slow. But I do lose points for missing. Oh no. There we go. And in later later games, uh, I think starting with X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, you're able to change the distance at which your linked lasers converge. But uh, in this one we can't. So sometimes... If you get too close, you're gonna you're gonna miss. There we go. I like to identify them. It's not really necessary. In I I'm gonna keep talking about X or I'm gonna keep talking about Tie Fighter, which is probably not a great idea. But in Tie Fighter, you're actually able to uh, get bonus secret mission objectives, which often come from like identifying craft or whatever. There we go. Boom. So I was a little too close. Let's just stay here. This distance should be good. 20... 0.25? 25. There we go. So it looks like my laser's converging at about 0.3? Maybe? Boom. And there was a third one. Since I'm not at risk of being attacked, I will... I will just sit here. Let's see, so, uh, and you can actually see, if you look around the outside of the reticle, I'm going to use my mouse to get a little better control here, um, the lasers will actually light up fully green if I have a good shot. And if I don't have a good shot, like on the right side, if I move a little bit, it says my top, or both my right lasers are going to miss. It was wrong, but it, <laughs> it was pretty sure they were. Onto the TIE Bombers. TIE Bombers have a little little stronger hull. But they are, with that, a little slower. Oh, those dodging actions. Boom. Gotta watch out for the dodge. And that took... <laughs> 
them out. I'm gonna just double check my map. I think that's it for anything except for fighters. Oh no, there's a couple containers, right? Can't forget the containers. Um, containers won't show up if I hit my R key, only enemies. So I just have to remember that I have a couple containers to take out. And uh, everything should be fine, otherwise. And really, you think I'd have a better shot with uh, these sitting ducks, but... Oh. But not so much. One thing I've always struggled with this game is actually hitting things. Oops. Definitely don't want my ass foils closed. Don't want to accidentally go into hyperspace like Dave. At least not till the mission's done. I'm hoping that a whole bunch of practice will help. But we'll... We'll see about that. Oh. The enemies... Uh, oh, I just hit the wrong key. Nice old Windows key. Gotta watch out for that one. It's gonna mess things up a little bit. There we go. Definitely don't want to be hitting that key. Um, so the the enemies and your uh, friends as well have different pilot ratings. From rookies to uh, top aces. And so, depending on their skill level... It changes how well they avoid things like their dodging, their their aim, all sorts of things. So there we go. A little, I'm a little close to that Tie Fighter. I will try and hit it though. Tie Fighters only take two. Uh, tie Bombers, I think, take about eight. Oh, sorry, six. And uh, tie interceptors, I'm not sure. Four, probably. Three or four hits with fully powered lasers. Now, we did just hear some uh, extra jingle, which makes me worried that maybe some other enemies came in. Two new TIE Fighters at one kilometer. Alright. So these guys might actually shoot at me. There I go with that Windows key again. Wow. Hopefully I don't hit that again. Wow. I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's... Maybe I'll find a way to disable it. Hey, maybe he's not actually going to attack me. So I guess I don't need to worry too much about it, but... They are moving around being annoying, so... I'll take him out if I can. And I could also crash into him. If I need be, <laughs> or if I need to. Just go full speed. And since I have shields, it'll be okay for me, since he does not. Or I guess it's probably a robot. Since the enemy does not, uh, the enemy will die. I'll take a little bit on the shields, and they'll take a lot. And, uh, there we go. Whew. So I'm just I'm just gonna waste I'm gonna waste my missiles on these things because I know they are the oh maybe not waste this container has a shields for some reason um, there we go I know those are gonna be the only craft that I need to deal with. Or the only big things that I need to deal with, so... Just 
was trying to get both at once, but was not super successful. Oh, man. There we are, and finally, a few more TIE Bombers. Hopefully they don't have some sort of surprise for me. And I can always hit uh, joystick button too to target what's directly in front of me, as well as to roll. I have to hold it down to roll though. But it's a nice way to just target something right in front of you. There we go, and finally, the last tie bomber. There we go. Mission complete. That's it. First historical mission was not too bad. It did take me longer than I expected. And the IMUs does switch a little bit. Let's us know the threats are over. Love the interactive music. And I'm just I'm just waiting to see the little notice on the bottom from the R2 unit. I think I think it'll let me know. There we go. And apparently my <laughs> Shields were unbalanced. Mission complete. Huh, that's a no extra little message. Congratulations, Red One. There we go. That's what I was looking for. A little congratulations. Thanks, little buddy. You successfully destroyed all enemy targets. Oh. Just so kind. Keep it up and continue with the next mission. Well... If you insist. Though, of course. Next mission won't be till next video. But. Let's head home. Enjoy the ending cutscene. Returning to the hidden Rebel Combat Training Facilities. The mission was a success, and the battle patch was awarded. Score 16056. Not bad, not bad. So we'll check that patch out in the next video as well.